Now at five, they are the must have accessory if you plan on doing anything outside your home, but not everyone is using them like they should. We, of course, are talking about masks. We all have them. As more businesses reopen, they are being required at more and more places. Here's CBS 4's Ted Scouton. Now, there's something we haven't seen in a while, a line at an airport. If you notice, nearly everyone is wearing a mask. It's a precaution, small precaution to me. They're very fashionable. <laughs> As of now, masks are required if you're flying on JetBlue, Delta, and United. Frontier will require it starting Friday. Next Monday, American, Southwest, Alaska, and Spirit will follow. Most passengers think it's a good idea, like Brian, who's lost several people in his life to COVID-19. It's real. So when you, you when it touches home, it changes the perspective of how you feel it. I have not been one to wear a mask. This is the first time that I've actually put a mask on during all of this. She's not the only one who doesn't like to wear a mask. These pictures sent to Miami Beach officials from city parks show many people not wearing masks or practicing social distancing over the weekend. Since Friday, park personnel gave out more than 7,300 mask warnings and nearly 500 for social distancing violations. And when some offenders were warned, city manager Jimmy Morales said park rangers were met with hostility and noncompliance. It got so bad at South Point Park, it is now closed. There were a lot of people out there. They were not following social distancing and they weren't wearing the mask. So the manager decided to send the message that we can't open up if you're not going to follow the rules. In Miami-Dade parks, it's simple. Masks are required at all times. In Broward, you must have a mask and wear it when you're within six feet of someone. At stores and other businesses, most people are wearing masks. They have to to get in. The county guidelines say you must wear a mask if you provide essential services, like grocery stores and restaurant takeout, and you must wear one if you visit those places. The more people that follow the orders, the sooner all this starts to die out and the less contamination there is, the sooner we're back to whatever our normal is going to be going forward. To find out more about the requirements of wearing a mask, not only when you're traveling, but just going around town, you can go to our website, cbsmiami.com. At Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.